Hey, right now I'm working on a, a modern version of a Thor's hammer necklace. And so the first thing that I've got to do is I've got some uh, 3 8 uh, square stock and I'm going to cut off about 3 quarters of an inch of that to make the head for our hammer. Oh, watching the hacksaw is very exciting. So the next step will be to take that and uh, put a center punch in it so that we can uh, know the right place to drill. I've center punched uh, just eyeballing where the center is of this piece. It's not too critical. And then I've got an eighth inch bit in here because I've got an eighth inch piece of metal to use as the handle. Watching drilling is probably just about as exciting as watching a hacksaw. I do use a little bit of uh, oil just to uh, keep the bit from overheating. And that's done. Here with the hole drilled out, uh, next we're going to file down the corners. Just make sure we don't have anything sharp. Oh, uh, when somebody's wearing it. So really quick, just across the top, make sure it's mostly flat. And then we'll hit the corners. So now it still feels sharp to me, so I'll go ahead and flip it over and do the other side. and that shot just done as well. So you can see it didn't take off a lot, just enough to make it so that uh, it's not really sharp on those edges anymore. Okay, so just an uh, eighth inch round stock there. So I'm just going to put that through. And then just a little bit sticking out the top, not too much. And then and uh, that's all it needs. That locks it in place. That's not going to move. And uh, next we'll, uh, we'll work on the handle some more. So I'm going to taper this down a little bit on the end. Then we'll knock the corners down. And then kind of round it out. Alright, now 
next I'm going to uh, heat it up and uh, spin this handle around to give us a place to uh, loop the string through. So I've got just a, a little pair of ram nose pliers. Just grab it and spin it around. Then we'll work on getting this uh, this piece wrapped around the handle. I'm just going to try and line this up so that it hangs pretty uh, centered and even. I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, the next step will just be to uh, kind of rub it down this piece we left sticking out the top here and uh, then we'll brush it off and wax it. So uh, last part I'm going to do before we uh, heat this up and, uh, and wax it is uh, I'm going to pin this little piece over here on the top. So I'm just going to use a little ball pin hammer and just lightly go around. And, uh, and that's kind of what I was looking for right there. So the last thing I'm going to do is just brush this off. I brush it to try and get uh, any loose scale off. It makes it have uh, a nicer finish. Now I'll put some beeswax on it. So what this does is it seasons the metal just like if you've ever cooked with cast iron. It seasons it so that it, uh, it gives it a nice finish, but it also makes it slightly resistant to rust. So there you have it.